Hey guys, welcome back to Ring Spinning series and we are here with part 2 in which we will be discussing everything about the bobbin holder. Now before that, go and watch the ring spinning part 1 for an overview of this process. So before we begin with our video, let me tell you something about An Academy, one of the largest online education platforms and its amazing courses for GATE and ESE. There are a very few days left before the prices rise. So go and grab their courses now. Use code TCGATE10 to avail a special discount of 10%. They also provide notes for GATE and ESE and along with it, they are about to begin with a batch for GATE 2023 called Evolve from March 30. There is a special batch for droppers called Resilience starting from March 30th with some of the best coaches. So hurry up Use our code TCGATE10 and start with your preparation straight away. The link to the course is given in the description below. So this is how a bobbin holder looks like. It is a very precisely designed component. It is a part of zone 1 as discussed in the part 1 of ring spinning series wherein the roving bobbins are creeled and mounted on these holders. Some important components of bobbin holder are the lock nut which helps in the placement on the machine then there is this lever which goes up and down and then we have the bobbin gripper which actually holds the bobbin in place now why do we need a bobbin holder one very important feature of bobbin holder is that it provides us with a frictionless movement and why is it necessary have a look at the figure to the right It's a cross section of bobbin holder with a with rovings on it. The white dots are nothing but circular cross section of rovings which are placed one upon another. I hope you are getting it. It is just like cutting a roving bobbin mounted on a bobbin holder into half with a sharp knife. So when we unwind these rovings for the further process, we do not want the rovings to slip. Also, we don't want to give an extra draft or attenuation to these rovings. Hence, we make sure they do not break and they do not have any false draft. So for this, it is essential for the bobbin holder to rotate frictionless. This is done with the help of bearings. Secondly, of course, it holds the roving bobbin. We discussed earlier in this video about the bobbin gripper. Now let us see how it holds the bobbin. This is how the cross section of the top of a roving bobbin looks like. And the component bobbin gripper gets stuck and holds it. So basically these two type of triangular components on the bobbin holder help in holding the roving bobbins. There is one more additional feature where bobbin holder helps us and that is placing the rovings close to each other. and saving us a lot of space have a look now this is the top view of the ring spinning machine and these are the two lines when the rovings are placed so we would have one bobbin holder here and the second here and so on so the distance x between the two bo roving bobbins is very low whereas without the holder the scene would be this Now as you can see the distance y would increase. Hence with this arrangement we can have more staffs and spindles on the ring spinning machine. So this is it from my side. This is all you need to know about a bobbin holder. We'll be back with another video in this ring spinning series on different components and until then if you have any doubts do let us know in the comment section. Reach out to us via email. See you there in the next video.